Michelle Morand, and I'm the founder and director of the Cedric Center. I wanted to tell you a little bit about our three-day transformative weekend workshops. They start on Friday morning and they end on Sunday evening. In essence, what happens over this three-day event is you learn why it is you're using food to cope, why it is that life has felt so stressful and why you felt so anxious and overwhelmed so much of the time, and why no matter how much you've actually been so desperately wanting to change your relationship with food, you've not been successful in any of your previous attempts. That's all just in the first couple of hours. The rest of the weekend is a practical exploration of the tools that you're going to use. There's three simple tools that are going to help you to start to relate differently to yourself and to food and to others. Everybody who comes to the three-day weekend workshops tells me that they were really nervous when they first walked in the door, but that within the first five minutes of the event, they felt peaceful, they felt calm, and they felt so happy to be there. And that's because we start out going over one of the core tools, which is a very powerful technique for helping you to get grounded in your body and helping you to become aware of what you're feeling and what you're thinking and just how to start to feel really safe in your own skin. So after the first few minutes, everybody's feeling more connected, more comfortable, and ready to dig into the work that we're going to do. These are incredibly transformative events. You won't believe what you get out of three days. In fact, you might, actually, if you get a chance to hear what other participants have to say and read some of the participant feedback on our website. So I do hope that you'll join us for our three-day transformative weekend workshops. We call them transformative for a reason. They're very powerful three days that allow you to understand exactly why you've been doing what you've been doing, to understand why you've been so stuck, and most importantly, to know exactly what to do and how to do it in just minutes a day to make a profound change to all areas of your life. understanding of nutrition and what you want for your body. There is a truth that a grilled cheese sandwich, depending on the kind of bread we use and how much cheese and kind, and I'm sure there are some variables there, but there is a truth for you that that's not the best choice. So we get milk in me or dairy. Okay, yeah, so you have dairy sensitivity, yeah. so yeah, okay. So that's actually a really great example because part of the reason why we will have judgment or guilt or angst about eating something like that particularly a grilled cheese sandwich when we have dairy sensitivity, is because we know it's not good for us. Not because of the fat or caloric content or the bread or whatever, although that can be a component of that, and certainly the diet mentality will hook into that, but because we know that that actually really doesn't make us feel very good. I do have this sensitivity. I'm probably going to feel a little headachey or a little bit bloated. So in essence, we're out of integrity when we make a choice to eat something that we know is not physically good for our body. Okay. Yeah. So there will be a component of that for sure. But then there will also probably be something, if we just look a little bit deeper, okay, but what was I looking for in having that thing? If I know that that's not really serving me or that particular food choice isn't really the best for me, what was it that I was telling myself I would get from having that? What were the needs I was seeking to meet? Or what is it, as we were talking about kind of the emotional piece and psychological piece around food, certain memories get triggered by certain mm -hmm. foods or sensations? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe that goes back to being a kid and having a girl she's done with your mom. Very likely, so, exactly. Yeah, many of us have these rituals where we, you know, we come home from school and there would be yeah. this, or we do this, or Friday nights our family would always have this, and mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with those rituals. However, if some of those foods are now foods that we genuinely have a sensitivity to, we can want to change that up a little bit. Um, and, and also, we also want to be checking in for the other piece of the equation, which is any of that diet mentality, just that rigid, good, bad, right, wrong, and I'm bad for having that. Mm -hmm. We can still respect the fact that certain foods are better choice for us and our body and are more in alignment with our goals without beating the crap out of ourselves and putting ourselves down for making those choices. Hi, my name is Dawn Cox, and I am a counselor for the Cedric Center for Stress-Free Eating. At this workshop, I'll be teaching you how to understand what's going on for you and what's underneath the mechanisms of your thinking that are causing you to overeat or undereat or overexercise and let you learn tools that you can take away with you to start to create lasting change.
We're hosting this workshop in beautiful Fairfield, right near Beacon Hill Park, the water, Cook Street Village, and here in lovely Victoria. We have a lovely location, really, really comfortable, small group setting. So please, come join us and learn how to simply eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full.